Hi, my name is Mark and in this video I'm going to show you how you can export a video with transparent background from After Effects. This should be a short one again, so let's go. To start this off, I briefly want to summarize what transparency in images or videos actually is. Normally you have three channels, red, green and blue. Transparency is achieved through adding a fourth channel called the alpha channel. You can think of this as a black and white mask for the image with completely transparent areas being black and completely opaque areas being white. Translucent areas appear in different shades of grey. If you combine these four channels you can get an image or video with a transparent background. In addition you have to know that not every video codec supports an alpha channel. In fact only a few do. For example, the good old H.264 does not support alpha channels, so you will never see an MP4 with transparency. I'll show you a few codec options I use on a regular basis in a second. Now let's jump into After Effects. I already created a comp with a video where I keyed out the background. To use this in another application, like for example Premiere Pro, we have to add the composition to the render queue. Make sure the composition is selected in the timeline panel and go to File, Export, Add to render queue or hit Ctrl M. To choose an encoding format, go to output module and click the blue font. This is the window where the critical steps take place. Under format, you have many options, but as I said, not all of them support an alpha channel. I personally only use two of these. 1% of the time, my format of choice is a PNG sequence if a client or application specifically requires an image sequence. For the other 99% of cases, I go with QuickTime. Under Channels, select RGB plus Alpha. We could also render the RGB and the Alpha individually and combine them in a different application, but that's not what we want to do right now. The last step is to go into the Format Options dialog and select a video codec. Again, not all codecs within the QuickTime format support the Alpha channel. The ones I use most often are Animation, ProRes 4444, and DNX HD or DNX HR. If you choose DNX HD or DNX HR, make sure to check the uncompressed alpha radio button, otherwise you will not get an alpha channel. Leave all the other options on default. Sometimes it might be necessary to change the color from pre-multiplied to straight, but I would only change that if the defaults are causing trouble in another application. Last but not least, choose a location and the name and hit render. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. And if you are interested in more tutorials and reviews, check out my channel where you can become a better filmmaker with every video. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.